The future of Florida's marriage ban is hanging in the balance with a big ruling that could allow marriage to start any day now. Anti-gay groups are still spending a ton of money in multiple states, but they're not getting very much out of it. And there's an election coming up this week that could determine the future of marriage in multiple southwestern states. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage Newswatch for November 3rd, 2014. A Florida court has put the brakes on some marriage lawsuits, which means we may have to wait months for the next step in those cases. Attorney General Pam Bondi had asked to skip directly to the state Supreme Court for a decision, but the 3rd District Court of Appeals has now denied her request, which means more delays. Meanwhile, a stay remains in effect, preventing Florida gay and lesbian couples from marrying. This week, attorneys for those couples have asked a U.S. District Judge to lift the stay. We could have a decision on that request any day now. It's been two weeks since marriage was legalized in Arizona, and by now every county has issued at least one marriage license to a gay or lesbian couple. But there's still a large area of Arizona where LGBTs can't marry, the Navajo Nation. Marriage equality is banned there, but that could soon change. Navajo Nation presidential candidate Joe Shirley Jr. has supported a repeal of that ban in the past. He faces a vote this Tuesday, November 4th. Opponents of marriage equality continue to spend huge amounts of money. The state of Idaho revealed this week that Governor Butch Otter has committed an additional $10,000 to continuing marriage litigation. That's on top of $71,000 that taxpayers have already had to shell out. And the National Organization for Marriage is spending $117,000 in North Carolina to support the election effort of Tom Tillis. He was one of the main backers of the state's marriage ban that was overturned last month. Even if Tillis wins this election, he probably can't stop the marriages at this point, so it's hard to say what Nam even thinks it's going to accomplish. And mark your calendars, we have some new upcoming court dates. On November 20th, Arkansas Supreme Court will hear oral argument in one case, and a federal court will hear argument in another. And the Fifth Circuit has set a date of January 5th for hearings in two crucial cases from Texas and Louisiana. The Louisiana case is one of the only ones with a ruling that upheld a marriage ban. If the appeals court agrees with that ruling, there's a strong likelihood that the U.S. Supreme Court will take up the case. Those are the headlines this week. Subscribe here on YouTube to stay up to date on all those stories. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.